Shabbat Shalom, Chavarim. Oliver and I want to welcome you to Torah Town. This week, we're going to be studying the Feast of Trumpets. We also call it Rosh Hashanah. We're going to discuss why is this feast so important and what does the feast prepare us for? Oliver, are you ready to learn about Rosh Hashanah? Oliver, are you paying attention? Okay, so the first thing we need to do, Oli, is we're going to wish all of our friends a Shabbat Shalom, right? Shabbat Shalom. Okay, guys, get ready. We're going to start learning right now. Yeshua Bear of Life wants to teach you this Torah curriculum brought to you from El Shaddai Ministries. Before we start, let us pray. Abba, we come before your throne of grace and we give you thanks for the opportunity that you give us to learn about your word. We give you thanks, Lord, for your grace is better than life. Father, my lips will always worship you. Yes, Lord, I bless you. I will bless you as long as I live. I bless your name and I will lift up my hands to praise your holy name. Thank you, Abba, for you have given us food. Thank you, Abba, for we can praise you. And thank you, Abba, for you are such a good God. Father, I pray that we will learn about this holy feast the Feast of Trumpets. I pray, Lord, that we will celebrate this feast with joy, that we will bring our hearts to you, Father, that are full of, of fire because we are in love with you. Thank you, Father, and we bless you. In Yeshua's mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's look at these unfamiliar words that are needed for you to understand today's lesson. The first word is Rosh Hashanah, which means first of the year. Israel is celebrating a new year. Happy New Year, Israel. We love you and we bless you. Would you believe that it's year 5,781 in Israel? The second word is Teruah, which means shout or blast. And the third word is Shofar, which means trumpet or horn. Blow the shofar in sign, sound an alarm on my holy mountain. Let all in the land tremble, for the day of Adonai is coming. It's upon us. Okay, Haberim, let us dive into this important feast, the Feast of Trumpets. This is what the Lord says to the children of Israel in Deuteronomy 30:16. In that I am ordering today to love Adonai your God, to follow his ways, and to obey his misvot, regulations and rulings. For if you do, you will live and increase your numbers. And Adonai your God will bless you in the land you are entering in order to take possession of it. Do you know that Adonai commands us to observe his feasts? Adonai said to Moshe, Tell the people of Israel in the seventh month, the first of the month is to be for you a day of complete rest for remembering a holy conv convocation announced with blast on the shofar. Do not do any kind of ordinary work and bring an offering made by fire to Adonai. Wait a minute, an offering made by fire? How can we make an offering made by fire when there is no temple? Well, let's think about that for a minute, Haberim. How about if we offer our hearts? Our hearts should be on fire for Adonai. In other words, I am giving him, the creator of the world, blessed be his name, 
in this holy feast my heart who is on fire for him. So why do we celebrate Rosh Hashanah? Because it is a rehearsal for the great day. The day when we hear the great shofar. The day when Messiah Yeshua comes. Hallelujah. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a rousing cry. With a call from one of the ruling angels. And with God's shofar. Those who died united with Messiah will be the first ones to rise. Then we who are left still alive will be, will be caught up with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Do you know the answers to these questions? Let me see. Do you know what feast day that Yeshua will return to earth? Yom Teruah? Yom Kippur? Rosh Hashanah. What day do we practice the crowning of the king? Yom Teruah, Yom Kippur, Rosh Hashanah. On what day does the king take the throne? Yom Teruah, Yom Kippur, Rosh Hashanah. Let me wait. Yes, you are right. Yom Teruah, Rosh Hashanah. Well, Chavarim, before I say goodbye, allow me to bless you. Shalom. May Adonai bless you and keep you. May Adonai make his face shine on you and show you his favor. May Adonai lift up his face toward you and give you peace. In this way, they are to put my name on the people of Israel so that I will bless them. In the name of our precious Messiah, I bless you, Haverim, and hopefully, I will see you soon. Shabbat Shalom and Shavuotov.